Hey there everybody, are those here from Ice Games bring you episode 144 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Assassin Let's Play here with Hazras on a very interesting uh, world. This uh, uh, Nathum, Nathum? I'm trying to remember to pronounce it properly. I'm really bad at that as you guys know. But uh, yeah, kind of a dead world trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. I know Valen's here to try to get the kind of command word out of her head. Uh, hopefully we get a chance to stop her. We're, we're nearing the end of the... Uh, uh, the expansion so we'll see where the story goes from here but before that of course I want to quickly go over the comments from last episode uh, so I had a comment from uh, Adam Fullman saying hi this is the first time I've actually been free to catch up and watch the new episode right when it was released uh, very exciting um, well I'm glad you could uh, make it on time and stuff like that I'm glad you enjoyed it I should be I know things have been a little crazy the last couple weeks uh, but everything should be kind of on the, the new schedule now so 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, new episodes every Wednesday uh, will be for my Star Wars uh, assassin character here uh, with Hazra. So yeah, it's 11 a.m. Uh, every Wednesday. Uh, I should be should be playing this one. So uh, Adam, hopefully you can uh, stop in and see the rest of them. I, I'm having a fun with it, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, also, a comment from uh, Ada saying, "How long until the trooper hits level 75? Not not too much longer. I don't I don't think, especially now that they." You know, but the new expansion onslaught, everything with the 75. So anything you've done between those two is is leveling up. So um, Zeti shouldn't take shouldn't take too much time to, to level up a little bit and start getting some command packs and all that stuff. Uh, also, the comment from Jay Butler saying, uh, still uh, catching up, but you love your videos. Uh, you watch. Uh, the beginning of the new ones, uh, so you can give you some the love you deserve. Uh, Hazras, your favorite character, and you'd love to see an evil Jedi playthrough. Uh, it will suit you well because you're nice like me and also love uh, to cause chaos like me. So, yeah, definitely doing an evil Jedi would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I like being nice, but also like, yeah, cake. Sometimes being bad is fun, especially in Star Wars stuff. It's, a, it's always exciting. So, Jay, definitely planning on doing a um, kind of an evil dark Jedi soon enough. I uh, should hopefully get that uh, that episode going soon. Hopefully, uh, I'm hoping I was my plan was by the end of this month, but it probably won't be till uh, March that that gets gets going, Jay. But um, uh, hopefully, you enjoy that when it comes, and I'll do like a pre uh, premiere and I'll let you guys know ahead of time when it's going to be. Uh, so I'm kind of excited. Oh, also, the comment from Darth Log uh, Darth Radness saying, "Not long till the end of the expansion." Now, uh, you wonder if uh, Nathema uh, is where the Emperor um, first uses planet devouring ability to prolong his life and cause a scar and the force so now it's a void uh so maybe maybe that's what um maybe that's what happened maybe that's why the, the planet's all dead and that's what killed uh, everyone here i don't know but i'm kind of excited to hopefully find out um also the comment from zachary shaw saying you have a a question about a mission uh where you fight um captain Gen gemini um it's a mission where you um you don't know how to pass the mission um do, 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 do. Uh, also, who do you think is going to win uh, the fastest lap in Vietnam? Vietnam and the uh, uh, the new uh, circuit for Formula One. I'm not sure. This year is uh, uh, for me personally. I think I think Ferrari's going to step up, and I think Red Bull are going to step up. Uh, I'm hoping one of those two uh, take the constructors instead of Mercedes. But that's just me. Um, as for the fight with um, uh, sorry, and you also commented being uh, Captain Gemini. Um, is that the one where you mean? Um, uh, do, 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 one of the, the Geminis, um, where she like bounces around and stuff like that. Uh, essentially, uh, I kind of fluked that mission a couple times, uh, where my companion got her, kind of got her stuck. But uh, a lot of it was just uh, I, I set my my um, my uh, companions to healing and, and just try to tank things. That's really how I've been playing lately. It's just just trying to, to to face tank a lot of that stuff. As you guys know, I don't do a lot of DPS. Um, but if that's not the one you're talking about, uh, it's just jumping around a lot. I think it's the one where the Gemini uh, captain's like jumping around a whole bunch uh, to different areas, like kind of goes invisible and hops. Uh, the best way to do that, yeah, just set your companion companion to um, to, to heals. Uh, use uh, depending on what class you're playing is use your um, shields. Like I got deflection, um, so increases uh, range of melee uh, defense by fifty percent for twelve seconds. So you got to use that stuff a whole bunch, and, and any any healing abilities you get too. And if you have it heroic moment. Uh, because you actually get healing every uh, second or every three seconds based on that too. So uh, just do as much healing as you can is usually the best bet. And then, um, yeah, just use your uh, kind of um, uh, shield abilities and stuff too. And hopefully get that get that finished. Uh, but yeah, who do you think is going to win? 
Uh, who do you think is going to be fastest in the new, new tracks? I'm, I'm really, this year probably be a lot of more of the same. Next year is the one I'm really excited about. Uh, but Zachary, thank you for that. I also had a comment from uh, Paw B, or how do we pronounce that? Um, uh, hopefully I'm somewhere close. Uh, he said, you finished your Jedi Shadow storyline, reached level 60, uh, the cat for preferred. Uh, great game. Uh, uh, your videos are great too. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the game because I, I think it's a ton of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with Star Wars. Got to invite a few more people to the guild and stuff like that. So if you guys want to join me in Star Wars, I am playing on the uh, Star Forge server. Um, send a message in the Discord link in the description below. Best way to do it. Because uh, if you guys send me a message down there, uh, if I can't invite you, anyone else currently in the guild can invite you to the guild. Uh, so you have to meet them on like the fleet or something like that. You can get guild invites. I'm planning on doing some guild events and stuff soon enough. Uh, it should, should be a lot of fun. So, uh, how will be? Hopefully um, you enjoy the Jedi Shadow storyline. And uh, I'm really uh, really excited to, to maybe play with you in-game in, in sometime. They're kind of fun. Uh, also, a comment from uh, Daniel Tillerson saying... Uh, uh, how about uh, you this and stop all the other pointless uh, stuff you're playing? Um, well, I don't think it's pointless. I'm having a lot of fun with the, the Trooper and the Guild Wars. And I uh, started playing some Final Fantasy and Elder Scrolls Online. And everyone else seems to be having fun with it. Uh, I do need to kind of get more regular schedule and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, I still will be doing all of them. Don't worry. There's still lots of Star Wars to play, uh, Daniel. I'm glad you're really, I'm really glad you're enjoying the uh, Assassin. Uh, let's play. Maybe you're enjoying the Trooper. Maybe you'll enjoy some of the new Star Wars stuff too. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of, as I said before, I, I'm doing this channel to play some games that I haven't played in a million years. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the games. Um, if you guys aren't enjoying all the games, watch the ones that you do like. Uh, but um, and probably I'll, I'll just I'll just keep keep the ones I got going because I'm having fun with it. And it seems like most of you guys are having fun with it too. So Daniel, uh, I apologize if you're not enjoying the other ones. Uh, but uh, hopefully you're still liking the uh, Lysis of Thousand one here too. Oh, also, I had a comment from Michael Coffey saying the wife, uh, you and the wife love the series. Uh, and great, great to see your Star Wars the public right through, through your eyes. Uh, and all the fun classes with their own stories, uh, followers of friends and villains. Uh, hoping you enjoy the next hundred or so, uh, at least seventy-five. Uh, lots, lots, lots of content for Star Wars. I love it. Um, you also mentioned that now that we're on one hundred and forty-three episodes of Star Wars: Assassin, what was your favorite and most memorable part of the storyline? Um, I probably have to say when um, my old. Uh, but my old master kind of got trapped inside of Kem Val. I thought that was really interesting and it kind of felt like you could kind of choose either way. You could have Kem Val um, uh, take control or your old master uh, take control, which is kind of cool. Well, you're still kind of learning uh, all your powers and stuff like that. I thought that was a really, really interesting way to do it. You can kind of really go full evil or, or kind of, if you're playing a good character, kind of go more good there. I think that was kind of cool. Uh, so thank you, uh, Adam. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Adu. Or Ada, sorry. Uh, thank you, Jay. Thank you, Darth Radness. Thank you, Zachary. Uh, thank you, Pal. And thank you, Daniel, for your awesome comments. Uh, as I said before, keep those comments coming. I love hearing from you. I know this one took way too long, but let's get into this story here. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of excited. Oh, before I get into this episode, um, question for you guys playing Star Wars. I've been trying to look it up, but I haven't figured it out. I've got armor pieces I, armor pieces I can't wear anymore. Um, I, I lost my... Uh, ability to use uh, what is it this one here my shield so uh, I took like the relic off and I can't use it and same as my um, uh, generator I can't I can't use this anymore I, I don't know why it's it's telling me it requires hero standing with the uh, Osis assault battalion and I never had problems wearing it before so I don't know what changed don't know what's going on same as this one here needs um, hero standing with the um, the uh, Osa's assault battalion. So it just happens like I can't, I can't put it back on. I, it, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, kind of annoying, but uh, yeah. So I'm losing a little bit of stats there because I got no way to go and get get them right now. I should be fine. I'm not too too worried about it. But yeah, if you guys know exactly what's going on with that, why they decided to change um, some of the stats on or some of the ways to use some of the items just randomly, I don't know because I've had those on for forever. Um, also got a new little mount here. Uh, the uh, patrol taunt on here. Let's see if I can... Oh, I can't be on a mount here. Do, 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 do. I'm going to hop out here for a second. Boop. Vehicles, where are you? Got a new taunt on. Look at how cute it is. 
I think this one looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like mounts and I like collecting things, so uh, I really like that. But uh, that was one I just got for for playing the game. For think for you had to be a subscriber for a certain period of time. Uh, but let's get into this one uh, and head down to the administrative offices, and hopefully we can stop uh, Valen from uh, from getting what uh, she needs. Let's repair all our stuff here. I don't have anything to sell right now. I'm gonna keep those other items just for just for now. Oh wow, this place looks like it. Definitely like not in repair at all. Like I, I assumed they still have like maintenance and stuff here. Sink Tarum, okay. Oh, what what? Okay. So we still got some sky troopers. And you're a keeper, it says. Womp. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should read what the Sanctum actually is. Put down those keepers. I saw an alien like you in the caves in Corvon. Way, 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 way back in the day. Uh, if I can see it quickly here. No, I can't. Okay. Where am I going? Okay, uh, find a way to open the door. I'm guessing it's in that room, actually. Yes! Valkorion has given me free reign over his child. Death is the only line I am forbidden to cross. Fortunately, he has provided numerous subjects to test my more radical experiments on first. Interesting. Got a book here. And another book. Oh, apparently I found a way to open the door. An access card in that book. And it looks like there is also seven of those hollow projectors, so I'll have to keep an eye out for those. I'm gonna quickly uh, come around here just to make sure I don't miss one in this room or anything like that. Nope, doesn't seem to be one there. Let's open the door. Let's see if we can stop her. Explore the sanitarium. Or sanitarium. That's what it's called. Sanitarium. First, I'm going to take down these sky troop gunners. Easy enough. ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Valen, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. The methods they used to control her were harsh, but they worked. Interesting. They wanted to curb her power without creating an aversion to horrific violence. Definitely feels like they wanted to wanted to make a weapon out of her. That's for sure. Okay. Let's uh, electrocute and get in here. Whoa. Oh. I mean, she gets to do like a superhero landing, and I just fall. <laughs> I made Valen observe our dissections today. Showed her each twisted, broken corpse from every failed experiment. I let her see the damage caused by the implants and chemicals. Now she knows what lies ahead. Okay. Gonna... Taking away fear from her? Is that what it's trying to do? I don't know. Find a way to open that door. Be back back here. Lots of destroyed sky troopers here. That's still on. Maybe that's where they kept her. Valen killed another keeper today. She must learn that defiance has consequences. Isolation, fear, pain. 
Sometimes the simplest tools are the most effective. Sometimes they they are, that's for sure. You know Hosrath knows about them. Ooh. This facility does not feel like a nice friendly place at all. Ooh! Got a zealot here. Um, so a select group. Are they? Of powerful force sensitives, the Zealots uh, live in total isolation on the Blighted World, uh, founded by Valkyrian. The Zealots are among the only force sensitive beings able to withstand the horrors of the Void through the regime of daily rituals and intense meditation. Oh, okay, so they're they're kind of they're kind of crazy on their own right. Yeah, this might make sense. But the Zealots. Conventional methods only go so far, but the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. Oh, so he's testing all the machines on on Valen. Ugh. Or testing machines so they don't kill Valen, I guess. That's a, that's a good way to do it. Make sure you don't kill your high subject. The Emperor would not like that at all. I have a feeling Valen's probably going to kill that guy, though. I thought Valen would scream or cry. Maybe even beg for mercy, but when the pain from the machines became too much to bear, she started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. Oh boy. So now we know we should, why she's uh, kind of a little crazy. This guy's uh, office here. Oh! Let me sell it. Some more droids. Go. Some more over here too. It looks like. Didn't miss anything yeah, over there. This will help. Thank you. Oh, sky troopers are everywhere and fall so easy. I have returned to Nathema years after I once helped Valkorian tame his child. Now, Valen wants me to undo her conditioning. Failure is not an option. Oh, that's why the place after after like this whole facility was built to control Valen and now that she's under control, they got rid of it. And uh, now that she wants to be free of it, her conditioning, it came back. Interesting. Okay. I don't like how that window is broken so you could easily get back down here. <laughs> Makes things easier. Oh, who are those people frozen? Sith. Jedi. I can still feel the suffering of their final moments. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. The strong must break their chains, even if it means the weak must suffer. But the question is, will you prove stronger than Valen if she breaks her mental bonds? If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin.
have to stop her. We're running out of time. Come on. Oh, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Okay, uh... Where am I going? Where am I going? Conventional methods only go so far. But the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. I heard that already. Let me see if there's another hollow thing in here. There isn't? Okay, let's keep moving on. Well, this is a forest area that... She was in? Oh, there's another hollow thing. We'll have to fight some of those creatures. Be my guess. I thought Valen would scream or cry. Maybe even beg for mercy. But when the pain from the machines became too much to bear, she started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. That last one didn't play at all? Okay, interesting. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's head to this forested area. Beat the twisted experiment? Okay, shouldn't be too hard. Be able to handle this. Elana. I don't think there's a way to get away from that attack there. That's okay. It's almost down. There we go. Kind of want to play through these uh, eventually on like a harder difficulty. Maybe when I play through with other characters, I'll play it on a harder difficulty instead. Alright, but we did finish that bonus objective, which gives us more experience. Well, command experience. Where are we going in here? Ooh. Failure is never an option. What the heck's up with this statue thing there? It's like, got that same green glow from the machine. <laughs> Wait! I am not your enemy! I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. I am Jarek, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. At least you understand your purpose. Despite my loyalty to those I serve, my research sometimes has unfortunate side effects. Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. Survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. Our problem has solved itself. Call Theron to pick us up. You'll never get out in time. I know a place will be safe, but I can't get there alone. I need someone to protect me along the way. Valen's power has driven the keepers and beasts mad. Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. Oh, I have a feeling this uh, scientist Jarek is not going to survive much longer. Even if he survives all this. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hosrass is probably going to kill him. Mm -hmm. Very friendly little uh, escape specimens here. Which way here? Uh anything down this way. I like to check the uh, little path just, just in case there's something. These guys are fighting each other. Can I just stealth up? Will they attack him? No, okay. I can just kind of... Oh! Something found me here. Yeah. This will help. Maybe I can't. Maybe they do notice him and those guys are just fighting each other, so that's why they didn't notice. I'll try to get him. Let's talk with the uh, medical droid. Let's get my repairs quickly. Let's try it again so we can sneak past some of these creatures.
All right, where are we going? Oh. And the green energy seeping in. What is this place? The immortal emperor's vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. I cannot protect you from what lies inside. You're not my guardian. Just a voice in my head that won't leave me alone. Oh, that smile can't be good. She's free. You must. You must. But what? I can't hear you. You're fading. Was that Valkurian? He tried to tell me something, but then he disappeared. Enjoy it while it lasts. I imagine he'll be back soon enough. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. I knew trusting you was a mistake. Now we are stuck inside an impregnable vault. Would you rather be ripped apart by the energy blasts outside? Besides, there is a way out. The vault has a backup generator, if you can reach it. Valkorion sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? All right, uh, let's see Take a breath. what he's hiding in here. Maybe we can get some goodies. What is this? A hollow cube thing. I wonder what's in it. I wonder what's in all of these things. Oh, here we go. No one here fighting us. That's good. That's always a good sign, right? Valkorion had something to do with whatever destroyed this world. He is solely responsible for this atrocity. He was the least of my children, his mother a nameless peasant. 
But he murdered me, imprisoned my spirit, and turned Madrias into this. You said this was once a lush and vibrant world. What happened? He lured many Sith Lords here before consuming them in a dark ritual that wiped out all life on the planet. He did something similar on Zyost. His hunger for immortality must constantly be fed. Why didn't he consume your spirit? For a thousand years he has taunted and tortured me. But now, salvation is at hand. This holocron has the power to destroy what remains of my essence. Grant me the release of oblivion. You'd better be offering something worth the trouble. I know Tenebrae's weakness. This holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. I've been waiting for this for a long time. What do I do? There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then, release me from my prison. Keep the holocron close and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Lana's right. We need every available weapon to defeat Valkorion, including you. No! Release me! I beg of you! That explains Valkorion's behavior. He didn't want you snooping around in his vault. Hold on to the Holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. I've got a bad feeling about this. Right, we'll deal with what's coming. But yeah, I think we might as well... Ooh, what the what? Okay, that's a Vault Guardian. Oh, there's several of them. Oh, boy. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, uh, that Darth definitely... If he knows... If he knows ways to kill the Korean, I think we should keep him around for a while. You know, we can, we can kill him when we're done with him. How about that? We'll destroy his essence when we're done. Take up these, I guess, war claws. They are definitely an interesting looking uh, enemy here. There we go. Beat the corrupted Vault Guardian, okay. One more here. Where where is it? Oh there it is, of course. Of course, it's gonna be a big one that's a champion. Alright. That's a lot. Alright, let's, let's, let's take out the big boy. That can't be safe. A red mess on the ground there. Oh, shit, yeah. Ooh, I'm actually gonna use my little moments here. Oh, an orbital strike somehow in this vault. <laughs> I love it. Let's fire a little bit. I'll shock you. Throw a grenade. Voice choke. Of course, that's not going to really lift him off the air. It's okay. Get out of this right mess. Probably doing more damage than I think. Eradicate. Overcharge a little bit. Oh, Hosrath. Well, Lana, we got this. Thank you for keeping me alive there, Lana. He's almost down. Also, I love heroic moment because we get health from that, too. There we go. 
Okay, what do you got to say, Lana? Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Did you find what you were looking for, Empress? You tell me. I have never seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of your former prison? ships to leave orbit. Soon, there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. Unit to hold jets, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside. Alright, so it looks like uh, Valen's extra powerful now. Just what we needed. Should I go the right way? I am. Good, 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 good. I'll move this here a little bit quicker. Let's get out of here. It looks like she has broken her chains. Which, uh, not only for a Sith is a good thing, but uh, she seems to be extra powerful now. And, uh, Should feel better now. Thank you, Lana. I am really wondering how Hosrath and the the Alliance are going to be able to take her down now. It's going to be interesting to see them try. That's for sure. Boy, oh boy. Okay, we can get out of here alive. Theron, you better have uh, the engines running for when we get out there. Alright, let's see some more of these Happy enemies. Happy location, Commander. Just waiting on you. Where you thought Theron were coming. It's time to sneak past some of these enemies because I don't want to deal with them. Hazard would want to be running out as quickly as he could. Yeah, going on here some keepers. Right, so My right. place is about to come crashing down. Get out of there! We're, we're working on we're working on it. Have you found the elevator? Good. Thankfully, Valen isn't noticed there in ship. Valen observe our dissections today. Showed her each twisted, broken core. That's why my sensors are close, you can make experiment. it. I let her see the damage caused by the implants and chemicals. Now she knows what lies ahead. Oh my gosh, the Jerick was kind of a horrible, horrible person. Not so sad he's dead. Well, he could have been useful. to cut it close, don't you? <laughs> it's true. A lot, of, a lot of running away from explosions. There's that beast down there. Valen has broken her bonds. Now she will be stronger than ever. She'll still die when I run my lightsaber through her. I... Oh, you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Are you scared? You should be. Your mind games are nothing to me, Outlander. 
But do not lose focus on what matters. Valen must be stopped. That's only step one. Step two is getting you out of my head. Be careful what you wish for, lest you get it. Valen's long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? That's why we need to strike now. As soon as we reach Odessan, we launch a counterattack. I was hoping for a bit of R&R &R after this mission, but you're the one calling the shots. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessa is under attack. Uh oh. Who's attacking Odessa? It's, uh, not me, that's for sure. Oh, boy. I do not like the look of that. Those are new ships. I haven't seen those before. Take a breath. But that's going to be next episode. <laughs> Got to leave a little little cliffhangers, right? Oh, man. So, yeah. Who's attacking the Desen? Kind of excited to figure that out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and these awesome loading screens. So, so uh, to recap, that uh, prison's been destroyed. Uh, Valen's now more powerful than ever. We might have found a way to uh, attack or take out uh, Valkorion, which is kind of cool. What did we get here? Chapter equipment crate story. Okay. Um, feet and hands. No, I don't want feet and hands. Well, let's grab four swords, feet and hands, anyways. So, what do we get from this? I don't know what's going on with this. What's this? Uh, contains an assortment of equipment. Items in, are determined by your discipline and currently equipped item ranking. Okay. Let's open this one up first. We need some boots and stiff. Are those down here? Are those any good? Uh, not compared to what I currently have. Let's open this up. Oh. Let's take all those boots. Look like they're better than what I currently have, so let's equip those. And I cannot equip that item. What is that for? Oh, it's a barrel. Okay, so I can use that to upgrade my item. So, okay, good. Ooh, it's actually good. It's like a 270 item. That's awesome. I'm glad we slowly going to be getting a little bit better. Uh, between episodes, I think I'm going to go through and uh, figure out a new relic and a uh, kind of a generator here that I can uh, kind of figure out why those aren't working. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too worried. We'll figure it all out. But thank you guys uh, again so much for watching this episode. Uh, don't forget, if you guys like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys don't like what you see, you can hit that dislike button too. But hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, this series so far. I know I'm having a blast. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to join me in Star Wars The Old Republic, I am staying, playing on the Star Forge server. Uh, so you guys can always send me a message in the Discord with a link in the description below. And uh, if I'm not currently on... Uh, someone else can uh, hop on, hopefully, and invite you to the guild. And then uh, anytime you see me online, just feel free to say hi. Or you can even send uh, Hazrath or Zati or any of my other characters a uh, message in-game and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And as always, until next time, keep your stick on the ice.